third trimester starts today. I was supposed to do my gestational diabetes test. I drank the drink. Does someone want to explain to me why I keep doing this? <laughs> it's almost 9.30 again, and I am tired again. <laughs> it has been a freaking busy day, and I did not even get that much done. I got like two things done today, but those two things took me literally hours to do. I wanted to rearrange my living room good morning everybody it is still morning it's 11 15. <laughs> i have had breakfast and now i am going to tackle a project that is probably much much too much yeah that makes sense considering that i just entered my third trimester so call it nesting call it i'm sick and tired of y'all of that mess. I mean, the giant mattress in the middle of the room isn't gonna be there because Ben decided to bring it up yesterday to lay on for some reason. So anyway, I'm gonna move the couch. I'm gonna move this wire rack thingamajig and this bookcase and the lamp. It's basically like gonna switch sides and the couch is going to go like this way, if that makes any sense. So, I'm already hot. <laughs> we might need to crack a window. <laughs> it's, um, it's 56 degrees outside. We might need to crack the sliding glass door. Anyway, let's get to it. So, did that this morning, had to pick up a bunch of stuff because Ben likes to leave his things everywhere. So cleaned up, moved some stuff around. Um, I moved my sectional, which I had never, I mean, I just got it. So I had never done that before. And some of the pieces did not want to go into like the groove thingy that holds them in place. So that was fun. And I had to move this solid wood bookcase, which was probably a little too heavy for me to be moving. Ben helped me a little bit, but it was a lot. Also moved the wire rack and the cat tree. And I think that's it. That's all I moved. Ben took his mattress back downstairs because for some reason he thought it'd be a good idea to bring it up here and put it on the floor in the living room. So I made him take that back downstairs. It's still not on his bed, but it's at the bottom of the stairs right now. So yeah, moving all that stuff was like, I started at 11.15 and finished around 2, 2.30. And here's a new couch set up. Ironically, it looks better with the lights on. So we don't talk about this corner, but here's the couch, bookcase right next to it. And then we don't talk about this corner either. So <laughs> <sighs> my back is killing me. That was a lot of work and it looks, I mean, the couch looks great. Don't get me wrong, it's just this stuff that's not even mine and that stuff that 90% of it isn't mine, it's Ben's. Oh man. So it is now two o'clock. He's dying to play his VR with his friends and I am starving. 
So we're gonna go get food. It's like sunny and not terrible outside. And I really wanna get this catio finished, but my back hurts. <laughs> And Ben decided to do a science experiment on Friday and got green goop on the PVC pipe out there. So that has to be cleaned off. I hate clutter. I hate it so much. I just want this stuff. I just hate clutter. It is what it is. I do my best, but Anyway, I'm gonna go eat and possibly work on the chicken coop. Chicken coop, oh my word, listen to me. The catio, I gotta put the chicken wire, chicken netting, chicken, chicken wire? I seriously need food. I can't even think of what it's called now. Oh my word. Okay, I'm gonna go get food. I will give you the pregnancy update after when my brain is functioning a little bit more <laughs> be back and then <laughs> stupidly decided hey now would be a good time to finish the catio that i started last weekend i think so i went outside and worked on that it wasn't raining which you know, it's amazing for spring in Oregon. And so I went outside and put the chicken wire around the PVC pipe frame that I had made and zip tied it all on. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. No, it was probably just as hard as I thought it was gonna be, but it's done now and the cats went out and explored it and Ben crawled out there and sat with them. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I have no idea why he did that, but he went out there and sat with them. Don't eat the leaves. <laughs> Seriously, the hole is like this big. It is not that big, but he fit through it and sat out there my TV finally got delivered. I've been checking my phone obsessively all day yesterday and now today waiting for something to get delivered. <sighs> the little car is where my stuff is. And a little drop pin is, well, sandy where I live. But it was supposed to be delivered yesterday and this is a object that is worth $550. So like it needs to be delivered today because I don't want it coming while I'm at work and it getting stolen. <sighs> and I'm watching this little car move like a micro inch all around Portland and Gresham and it never came out here yesterday. It was supposed to be delivered and it did not. And I'm really irritated because I could have gone and like selected store pickup and I could have got it on Friday. Anyway. Good grief. The person that dropped it off was like, sorry, I know it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but I ran out of gas and was stranded for hours. How do you run out of gas? I don't understand. Like, there's like lights that flash and sometimes it dings and and it looked like a newer car. It was like a Honda, it wasn't a Civic, it wasn't a Accord, it was like a Honda SUV. And it still had the dealership like plate in the front. That's gonna be a newer car. It should have warned you that you were running low on gas. And when I was looking at the map on my phone, like watching where it was in route, you know, it was in like the middle of the city. So it wasn't like in the middle of nowhere. It was literally like somewhere in Gresham for hours. So I'm not sure if that's like 
exactly true, but either way, my TV came and it's gigantic. It's probably twice the size of my last TV. It's freaking huge. I mean, look at this. It doesn't look that big, but I mean, like, it's this, like, it's huge. And yes, I am watching a moving vlog. Interesting things you find on YouTube. My sciatica is killing me. It hurts so bad. I need to stretch a little bit tonight and hopefully it won't be too terribly bad tomorrow. But even sitting here, like, it hurts. Anyway, baby update. Let me pull it up. I cannot believe I went the entire video last week thinking it was 26 weeks when it was actually 27. So, officially, this video, 28 weeks, <laughs> third trimester starts today. Baby is the size of an eggplant, 14 and three quarter inches long, just over two and a half pounds. I swear these are so not accurate. Like I am so much bigger than that. And she is like up in my ribs, like constantly. And this does not even show the baby reaching the ribs at all. So, all right. So it says baby's brain will triple in weight this trimester. Uh, baby's senses of hearing, smell, and touch are developed and functional. Hi, right, Leia. You gonna come up here too? Not on my tummy. Ow! Don't step on the baby. That hurts. Baby's nervous system. Starting to control baby's temperature and rhythmic breathing movements. I said that and she kicked me really hard. <laughs> Leg cramps, hemorrhoids, weird dreams, pregnancy rashes, leaking breasts. Oh my goodness, look at the list this week. Don't really get leg cramps. I did almost give myself a Charlie horse this morning when I was stretching in bed. You know how like you stretch like your leg way out and you kind of like point your toes. It cramps the um, calf muscle. And I like felt myself getting a Charlie horse and so I relaxed my leg really quick because I've had those before when I was pregnant with Ben and they sucked. Um, I do not have hemorrhoids. I've never had those during pregnancy. Weird dreams though. My friend at work and I were talking last week about dreams and she mentioned something about having weird dreams. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I don't remember my dreams very often. <gasps> How cute are they? You're so cute. Hi. And then that night I had a dream that the administrator of my building brought the HR lady's daughter to my office. Her daughter is like four, maybe and brought her to my office, not the HR lady, just the administrator, and was just sitting in my office for like an hour while the kid was, you know, playing and talking and whatever. And he looks at me and he's like, I hope she's not bothering you or being too loud. And I'm like, honestly, I tuned it out, didn't even hear her. But like, what? Why are you taking somebody else's kid to go sit in someone's office? I don't know. It was weird. I woke up and I'm like, what? That was strange. Don't have any pregnancy rashes and I have yet to have leaking breasts. Good times. I have, however, had multiple times where I had like the let down tingling sensation. And I'm like, it is way too freaking early to be starting this. Don't you dare. But I haven't actually like leaked any milk. So I'm still good in the, the booby department. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, if you guys came here for, you know, kosher <laughs> stuff, this is not the place. I do not hold stuff back. So I had my doctor's appointment on Tuesday, my 27 week appointment. I was supposed to do my gestational diabetes test, which is a glucose tolerance test. The direction said, you know, eat normal meals, try to avoid sugar, drink lots of water before. And then it said, drink the glucose drink 30 minutes before your appointment, because it's supposed to be one hour, the blood draw is supposed to be one hour after. That gives them 30 minutes to have my appointment, do all the things, and then go and um, have the phlebotomist draw my blood. I drank the drink. I got the orange one. It is worse than I remember. <laughs> It's not better than I remember, that's for sure. It's definitely worse. It had, like, it was the same flavor, it was an orange, but it also had like this chemically, uh, after like hint of chemical in, I don't know. I don't know, it was yucky. And so, went to my appointment, the parents couldn't come with me this time. I called them when the doctor got into the room so they could hear everything and normal appointment i talked to her about that spot that i was having on my stomach just like the top of my stomach under my boob basically like the top of my rib or the bottom of my rib cage area how like i'll sit slouched and it'll start tingling like it's falling asleep she's like yeah it's totally normal like all your organs are getting, you know, shoved up into your rib cage, and so your ribs are like spreading apart, and that's part of what it is. I was like, okay, as long as it's normal, I've just never had it happen before, so I had no idea what was going on. I'm trying to think if there was anything. I don't think there was anything else. She measured my stomach, listened to the heartbeat, which they, the parents could listen to over the phone. And yeah, then they had me go to the phlebotomist because I was early getting done with my appointment, like to get my blood drawn. I sat there and talked to her for like 10 minutes or so. We just like chatted and she's super nice. Love her to death. She's a good phlebotomist. She had a lot of trouble this time drawing my blood. Just got my blood drawn after my glucose tolerance test. Wait, not that arm. Wait, nope, not there either. This, my veins were being such a pain in the butt today. Usually I have like the one vein that's like the good one. And she tried that one, nothing came out. So she tried a different one and <laughs> she, she tried using a butterfly needle which has a long tube connecting to the thing. And so you can see the blood going through the tube into the actual like vial that they use. Like she stuck me and I could feel that she hit the vein cause I can feel it when they like hit the vein. And she, she's like, I don't know what is going on, but the blood is coming out super slow. And so I look down and it's literally going like <laughs> it's like so slow. I was like, yeah, that's like molasses on a cold day. It is going to take forever. She's like, yeah, it'll probably clot in the tube and then like it'll stop coming out. She's like, we've got like five more minutes in the window to get your blood drawn at the appropriate time. So like this has to be done. I was like, yeah, I do not want to have to drink that stuff again and have to do this again. And she's like, well, I'm not supposed to attempt to draw your blood again, but if you're willing to let me try, then I will. And I was like, yeah, totally. Like, let's, let's get this done. And so I told her, I was like, well, you can use the vein in the back of my hand because 
looks big. <laughs> so she stuck me on the back of my hand and got the three vials of blood that she needed. I thought it was just gonna be the one. Hopefully it was good enough. That was on Tuesday. I still haven't gotten the results back, so I don't know. I shouldn't have gestational diabetes. I've never had it before, and this is my fourth pregnancy. So, no news is good news, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. I also got my Tdap shot, which sucks. Tetanus shots are the worst. They hurt. And my arm doesn't hurt anymore, but... Let me see, is this still pink? Can you see that? It's like pink right here. And it's hot, like there's a lump right here. I have never had that happen before. Usually shots and I are totally cool, but for some reason this time my body's like, no. <laughs> I mean, I texted my best friend. She's like, oh yeah, that happens to me every time I get a shot, it's totally fine. I was like, okay, as long as you're sure. Not really anything has happened this week that I can think of that's worth mentioning. I moved my stuff. <laughs> the TV is gigantic. Man, I can't get over how big that is. <laughs> it's so big. I mean, my last one was like a, oh man, how big was it? I measured it too. I don't know. What? Oh, is that so? <laughs> you are so cute. I can't with you. Oh, on my tummy, really? Really? You're terrible. It's a good thing you only weigh six and a half pounds, or I'd be pissed. Your brother is way heavier than you. Ouch. Claws. Oh, the claws. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes, hi. Anyway. <laughs> if you don't already, you can follow me on these social medias. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about surrogacy, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm a surrogate. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm doing these videos. Oh man, I forgot that part in the beginning. Oh well. But when I said intended parents, that's why, because it's not my baby. So make sure that you like and subscribe this video. I upload every week on Mondays. And I'm going to try to do some shorts and upload them on like Thursdays or something. So subscribe. Stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week. Goodbye. <laughs>